Hello beautiful souls, my name is Cheryl, welcome to my channel Starseed Healing. I hope you are all having a great day today. If not, please remember that it's going to be okay and it's going to pass very soon. Just connect to your energy and tell yourself that it's all going to be okay. Okay? So, day five of Oracle Guidance. Today, I woke up feeling very tired because I had a lot of harsh dreams at night, which most of you know, when we are asleep, when we are dreaming, we are doing energy work. So when we wake up, our body feels it. That's why most times when you wake up, you feel tired. <laughs> when you just slept for hours, but you still feel tired, your body feels heavy, you have aches and pains. And that is because you have been doing a lot of work energetically. And that means that you are healing those energies and those situations in your life, in your physical life. But your body still feels the trauma that it endures during dream state. But then, you know, after a while, I decided to go for a walk with Marley. I met up with my friend and the energy started changing. I knew I was gonna be okay. It didn't matter that I was tired. And I kept reminding myself that it's over. Whatever happened in dream state happened. It happened for a reason. And now I can enjoy my day here. So, Maybe some of you went through that too. And this would be Saturday for most of you because I'm recording this on Saturday, but I will be posting it on Sunday because I record my videos a day before I post them. So what energies, what messages, please, what guidance do we have for anybody watching these videos? What messages do we have for anybody watching these videos? And we have <laughs> Go the distance 47 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 Wow, it's like the reading from yesterday We had the 11, 11 It's amazing how they all continued Yeah, this is what I was talking to you about What happened this morning is that Whatever you're going through, even when I said with when I started, I told you in the beginning of the video, even if it's not a good day, it's going to be okay. You have to remind yourself that you are in this place. Did you guys hear that? I have chimes near the door, but there's no wind today. And like my heart skipped the beat as I heard that. It's like somebody rang them. Oh. And I was explaining like, oh my God, that's such an omen. Oh, it scared me for a bit. So as those chimes chimed, I was saying that even if your day isn't going well, it's about you reminding yourself that whatever you're going through, you're going to go through it. And it's happening for you to grow, for you to learn. And for you to have this type of experience. So you can put yourself in a different energy if it happens again. Or you will never put yourself in a position to be in that position again. You know what I mean? And as I'm saying that, I heard the chimes. It's like a confirmation from the universe to... Allow yourself to feel whatever you're feeling. But remember that you're still going the distance, even when you're feeling that. Like, I still feel tired like I did in this morning, but my energy shifted. I feel energetically better. I'm not sad. I'm not depressed. I'm not heavy. I'm good. But my body's really tired. And if I give in to that, I won't do anything today. But I pushed myself in the most light, positive way to get this video done and to go on a walk with Marley and to meet my friend. And later I'm going also going out. And it's not because I'm pushing myself 
to a distance that I cannot handle. It's I know what I need. If I'd be laying around here, it wouldn't work to my benefit. So what helps you to go the distance? What helps you to get motivated? What gives you that discipline to take care of yourself? And if it's for some of you, you might always push yourself to go the distance. It's about you taking a step back and finding time to relax, to have a long time, to sleep, to nap, to just lay on the couch, you know, and watch series or meditate, do whatever makes you feel good. You have to see which energy is affecting you right now and which energy you are in right now. <laughs> Between two worlds. Yeah. I was talking about that push and pull in the previous readings and I also said right now you may be in a place where you are seeing the old version of you, you know, everything that happened that you're still encountering because of your past situations and decisions and now also you're seeing the new so it's like that uh, but you have to keep moving you have to keep learning and creating so you keep you keep from this what benefits you but everything else you just set it free and that's what's helping you to go the different the distance and that's what's making a difference in your life wow i love this card a balance between light and shadow, masculine and feminine. And we have the number three, masculine and feminine energy connecting to the divine, working with the divine. It's you finding a balance within you. And that balance is helping you to see a different perspective in your life, in everything that you do. And not just focusing on the negative things, but finding a positive a positive outlook about everything in life. And three is all about transformation <laughs> and working together. Wow. I love that. And look, the pelic the flamingo, not pelican, is wearing a crown. Yeah. That's what I was talking about. You stabilizing your future with all that you've experienced in the past and right now in your present. Everything's going to help you moving forward. Even if today... Or even, <laughs> uh -huh. even if today feels or is a horrific day for you, you've already been through it. It's happening for you for that reason. For you to become even stronger, even wiser. And moving forward, you're not going to feel like you felt today or in the past. Because now you know better. So you can do better. And you can be better. Well, and look, there's a face here in the middle. Well, and I mentioned this in the, the previous reading. Is that you will hear different voices in your head. One which will keep you stuck. One which pushes you forward. And then there's always that voice that's always there calming you loving you and look that's the middle ground that's the balance that is what keeps you sane it's like you actually connect like when you watch movies and there's an angel and a devil on their shoulders and they're like Ooh. but in the end it's the person that makes the decision it doesn't matter what's going on here it's you who has to align with your truth and take the opinions and take everything that you have seen and absorbed and listened and then you make your own decision and whatever happens in your life there's nobody to blame if it's good or bad it's all you it's your responsibility your life is your responsibility and you have everything that it takes to go the distance we had the cheetah in the first reading or second reading so it's about not giving up and I know it's easier said than done. I've been there. I know. But when you really, really, really want things to be better and when you really, really allow yourself to not be in victim mentality, when you see that you are responsible for everything in your life, you're not responsible for what happens. Things just happen. Shit happens. But you're responsible 
for how you react, how you act, and what you do with what comes in your life. And that's what makes a difference. That's what you're responsible for yourself. Is there anything else, please? What else? What else? What guidance do we have for anybody watching this video, please? What other guidance do we have? Ooh, same as yesterday. Or the one before. I'm getting mixed up now. Moon. We had moon energy in the other one. Take note of intuitive messages. Yes. That's what I was saying. Your voice. You can watch these videos. I'm giving you my opinion. I'm giving you what I'm channeling. I'm giving you advice through my experience. And it's all good. But if it resonates with you, you still have to see what you believe in. I don't want to be manipulating you with what you're hearing from me. I am not your intuition. You have to listen to your intuition. You take the guidance, you take the advice, but then you see what truly is good for you, what truly makes sense to you and your life. <laughs> Shift your perception, air guardian. Wow. Oh, when I was telling you about the crown, look. We have a crown here and a crown there. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. And look, her wings are open. She's ready. She's secure. She's, she feels stable. Her hair is flowing and free. It's time to let loose, let go, surrender, enjoy. As I explained before, if you are in a place that you need to rest, enjoy chill time. If you've been working your whole life and because of the situations that are happening right now in the world and you ended up not working or something happened, relax, enjoy your off time. The day will come when everything will settle down or you will get an intuitive nudge to create something new out of your passions or maybe another job offer will come through. Or if you are a person who needs to find the motivation to get going, then get going. If you have been in hermit mode, it's time to enjoy life, explore, explore the outside world. If you are able to, if you're not, it's about connecting with you and making changes in your external life. It doesn't have to be outside. It could be just in your home, moving things around, doing feng shui, removing anything that you don't use or that you don't need. Also taking care of the planet, recycling, and not using stuff that is really wasteful, but being very mindful, very aware. And that, that brings a lot of balance. Since I've changed my life and I take care of the planet Earth as much as I take care of myself and everything else, I feel that alignment and balance within me. And that is how you shift your perception, is that whatever you do, every decision, every action, it affects you always. Because if it affects the animal kingdom, it's still affecting you. If it's affecting another person, it's still affecting you. If it's affecting the planet, it's still affecting you. Because we are all one. We all come from the same energy, from source. And I'm really loving the sun today. And I, I decided to wear yellow for some reason. Oh, amazing. I'm, I just get blown away. By all the synchronicities and look at that the full moon full moon brings clarity and also this to me represents cycles cycles of you know when we repeat the same stuff over and over in a loop it's like it's so obvious that we have to change something but we keep going in a loop because that's the only thing we know and now we're learning to break away from the loops healing those cycles and starting um how do you say it starting a new way of life and you can only start that by shifting your perception by shifting your perspective of everything and owning up to everything that you have been involved in that has triggered you or triggered other people that has hurt you and now it's time to shine let your God energy out. Let your goddess energy out. And live and joy. And because of the sun, 
I'm telling you, if you are able to go outside, enjoy the sun. And if you're not, do like I do. And when there is that sun like that shining upon you, imagine its light rushing through your body and filling you up with love. With love. Oh, love. Because remember, we do a lot of healing. We do a lot of releasing. And when we release so much from our energy, we become like an empty vase. It's like a vase full of water. You pour the water out and there's the vase, which is now empty. So you have to refill that. You have to refill that with love and connecting to the sun and also the moon. You can imagine and visualize their light emanating from you and you becoming one, you becoming whole. It healing from you, sorry, it healing you and filling you up with so much love. And that's going to help you to move away from anything that does not benefit you. And look, <laughs> never ending story, that loop that I was talking about. It's time to like, just cut that shit out. You know what you need to do. You're responsible for yourself. It's time to take care of yourself and keep moving forward. And we have 37, which is a 10 completion and the full moon is um, the symbol of closure of release of detox yeah love yourself oh look i was gonna say love yourself unfinished symphony 10 again closure completion time to emerge out of that egg and express create share your passion Maybe it has something to do with music. Or a lot of you just need to listen to music and let yourself get lost in the beat. And look at that. We have new life, emergence coming out. I said you need to emerge out of that egg. And look, she's out of that egg. You're free. You just need to see that. Number 39, which is a 12, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a counter, guys, if you haven't noticed yet. New beginnings, new percep perception, new perspective. <sighs> Stretch. Mm, look at her. Stretch. And enjoy the newness that is coming your way. You have changed so much already. You have created so much already. It's time to enjoy what you have achieved. And whatever is next, it doesn't matter. Live in the now, love the now, love yourself, and that will help you to just really calm down and really be appreciative of everything in your life. So this is what I feel I need to share with you today. I'm sending you so much love and light and this beautiful sun your way. Thank you for joining me. I love you. Take care. And namaste.